In this video, I'm going to show you what are build variants and how we can use them, and also how we can make different types of them. So firstly, when we create an application, what we'll have is when we go to the build variants and we go to check our application, we can see that we have debug and release. And this means that we have only one type of build. And when we want to build for a debug, means that it's like you usually build your application and when you want to go, for example, and publish it to the Google Play Store, you go to the release one. And this means that you have to send the APK with your key and password and everything that it contains. But just one variant is usually not enough because you might want to have different types of builds. And depending on what build it is, you might have different APIs. For example, you might have production API and development API. So every time you want to push to your clients, you'll just be using the production. And when you're just developing for yourself, you'll be using the development. And let's just check how we can do that. We can do it with flavors. And I have here written a couple of them. So in our case, because our APK has this package name, if we create two types of builds, we need them to have different packages. So when we're creating a flavor, we will just like to have a different package name. So we are adding an application ID suffix. And this means every time I'm building for development, it will end, the package name will end with .dev. And when we're building for production, it will end with .prod. And this means that when we're uploading to Google Play, for example, our application will be uploaded with .prod. And this is, of course, if we're uploading the production one. But you, you get the point that this is just how we separate the different types of builds. Now, another important thing is we have this dimension. As you can see, it's just some variables over here. And I've set them up all in the build gradle. And from there, I usually want to separate them more clearly. And that's why I put the variables over here. But about the flavor dimension, we can just call it anything that we want. Usually when we're using dimensions and in your cases, you'll be using just one of them, just call it whatever you want. And the difference comes from if you want to have multiple dimensions, I don't think you do because in most applications you're not required to, but if you have multiple dimensions, let's say we have, for example, production and we have one more here, which let's call it sub prod, or let's actually call it customer one and then we have flavor dimension two so when we have multiple dimensions the first dimension will be you can call it like the parent one and the other one will be the sub one whatever is first in the array will be the first and then the second and so on so every type of dimension will actually build each other for example if we have production then our build will be including production plus customer one because customer one is um, flavor dimension two you know they will be just combined so you have to test it and it, it will make more sense of course but uh, we're not going to be checking more deeply into this tutorial about the two multiple dimensions because like i said usually you need just one so next what we usually would like to have in a flavor is just different types of variables and to do that we're just making build config field and we, we say what type of field we want it to be which in our case we're creating a different api url for different flavor that's why it's string and then we give it a name which we give it api url and then we're setting up the value over here so the value over here is just like we saw from here is just an api url and that's it so this is very important because imagine that i mean like we mentioned we would like to have different just URLs in our project. So when we check in our network module, we can see that we have this build config API URL. And we can see that the API URL is the API we're passing. And we also can see the flavor, which is the development one and everything that's, you know, included in it. So this is how we can create different variables and use them in the project. And another thing that you might have is just the manifesto. And in the manifest, you might want to be using you know different variables and in our case we're using different icon and different label name so how we do that we have another special thing which is called manifest placeholders 
and inside of it we're just setting up our variables and again we're passing the values to them so in our case we just want up up label and an icon and that's it but now every time our application builds it's going to be using the specific flavor um, label or icon so this is nice and you know it doesn't sound complicated i think but what about if you want to use it in multi-module because currently this is the main application and if you have only one module this will be perfectly fine and you're ready to go but imagine now we have multiple modules and as we can see on the side here every module has different build variant so this comes you know a problem if we have to copy this you know in every in every different module and it's just it will be working but it will be just annoying because every time we want to change something you know we're going to be changing it on every single module and we don't want that we want it to be more simple than that again this will be staying in the application module like we initialized it like, like we created it but if we want to have our other modules to work with the same product flavors we're going to be having this piece of code over here and again if we just copy this and paste it for example you know in our other applications this will work this will be perfectly fine but again it seems like it's a bit you know not optimal if we want to optimize this even more then what we're going to be doing is in my case we have over here a gradle file called android library build which is common gradle between many different modules so what we do is as we saw we have this flavors gradle as well which just contains this piece of code that we can just copy paste in every single module but in our case we've set it with this type of uh, naming you know we just create this this variable that holds it when we go to this other gradle file that's just common between the modules we have apply from and we're pointing to this flavors gradle file so when doing that we're just accessing the flavors gradle file and when we want to initialize everything from this variable when we want to use this part of the flavors we're just doing it by saying with and the name of the variable we created which is flavor config library and now instead of us copying this part on in every module we are just doing it once in our Android library or if you don't have like this middle ground Android library built like uh, in this case of course you're just going to be copying this part in every module and applying it like this and that's it but currently in the modules that we have over here we're just using this Android you know uh, library gradle as something that's common between the modules I mean again this is not important um, and it's not necessary I mean in your case because it's just uh, something that you you'll be making to have you know m easier control over your modules and keeping just everything in one place and just it will make it easier for you now knowing that when we sync of course our project and we check our build variants from we can see that from debug and release we have a couple more so in our case we call it development and production and that's why we have development debug and development production release so depending on what we need we are going to be changing it over here and now because we have our main application and our other modules uh, over here usually when we change a module that's not the main one uh, let's let's change it to production for example and keep in mind that when you're changing just a single module you'll be seeing that it only a couple of the modules which are connected to that one will change so we don't want that actually we would like every single module to change and that's why when you do that you usually just just change the application module which is the main one and every single module is connected to it so when we want to change to production we just change from that module by itself and as we can see now everything is changed to production and if we build you know it will be the production variables well that was it for this tutorial i hope you liked it and if you did please leave a like and subscribe for more